Well guys, I finally got the TiVo all finished up, so now the next thing I need to do is start working on my D200. So let's just go ahead and get it over here right now. <laughs> I'll just see if that worked in editing. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're going to take and go back into the D200 here, replace some cables. Uh, I'll post the links up here in the corner, uh, but uh, I had an issue with the switch uh, where it wasn't homing correctly, and it turned out it was broken wires on that. So I contacted G-Tech and asked them if they could send me the harness for that, as well as the harness for the stepper motor that brings the carriage side to side. Um, I believe they call that the X-axis. Anyway, um, the motor itself is fine. I swapped around the wiring and everything. It turned out the same harness that goes to the switch was also <laughs> had the same harness going to the motor. So I think those wires broke as, at the same time. So today we're going to go ahead and switch out the harness and hopefully get the thing back up and running here in just a little bit. So I contacted G-Tech and so they sent out two harnesses here and I honestly don't know if they are the correct ones I haven't had a chance to open them up yet let's take a look here so I see one harness has some extra wires here and I honestly don't know what that is for That does not look familiar, but then again, I have not looked at what this what it looks like on the circuit board, so I can't wait to get to the bottom there. And they sent me out this other harness here, which once again does not quite look right. Eh, won't know until we get into it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I found an Allen wrench here that looks like it's going to be the correct size. So let's go ahead and remove these Allen head screws from the base here but at the same time sometimes it's a necessary evil okay so we have a fan located right here so I'm just going to kind of lean it up there now when it comes to my wires let's see come down the front here so it's going to be the two with this black insulation. Yeah, actually it does go to a very large harness. Oh wow, I did not expect that. So it appears this is going to be the correct harness for it. That is a shocker. <laughs> okay, so it does look like it's got some kind of glue, like hot glue on it. So I'm going to have to take a little knife and uh, cut the glue away. Oh, good. <laughs> I got one stepper driver attached to it. Let's see if I can gently take it loose. There we go and put it back in there we go okay wow there's another one that goes up there so let me wait off here let me plug this cable in Let's see the glue goes that way because I want to make sure I take the wires in the correct way so we know this short one is going to go to this stepper motor here there we go I'm guessing this one is going to go up to the that is the y-axis motor Okay, so now I've got to take 
loose a few couplers here on the printer. There's another plastic hanger that's right there. I needed to remove that. I'm going to end up rotating this around for the moment and maybe be able to show you what I'm doing, hopefully. Okay, so what I did, it's not going to show you. That's not good. Okay, so right up here was a plastic uh, connector that was on this little stud that sticks down. So I pulled the nut out of that, got that loosened up. Now it's a matter of bringing the wires loose from these plastic hangers that they have. And I'm trying to get where you can see it. There's these plastic hangers that the wire harness is going down. I want to go ahead and remove the wire from those. So this, somewhere in this one are some broken wires. And unfortunately this is one of those situations where it didn't damage the outer jacket. So I can't tell where the wires are broken, but I can feel something weird right there. It feels odd. And that's probably where it's where it's not correct. So that is our old harness. Next thing we want to do is bring our new harness back up. I'll have to retuck everything correctly. That belongs in there. I'm just going to bring that over that so that will hold that in place. That I can bring up. This will attach to the to the Z axis. Yeah, to the X axis carriage. Okay, so that is now reattached. Now this wire here is to the the uh, switch. You remember I've, I've, I've uh, linked to that one there. <laughs> Um, where I re-soldered the wires just to get through a print. And so I want to see if this other harness somehow has that. Unfortunately, it looks like I have to solder some wires if I use this harness, though. But just looking at it, it looks like this probably is the correct harness for it. But wow, I don't want to have to take all that loose. It looks like the wires actually go into this part here which I'm guessing has something to do with the power reserve uh, for for uh, like a battery backup or something I'm guessing you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and cut these wires off on this harness here cut these wires I'll solder them in down here at the base where I know that there's not going to be a bunch of wiggling happen and I can actually also bring that in behind this hanger to make sure that there's no wiggling whatsoever and we'll just go that route uh, forgive me g-tech but that's what i'm going to do <laughs> unless i can figure out an easier way of getting these attached into this i don't want to i don't want to dive into that so i'm just going to solder it okay so while i have the soldering iron heating up i'm going to go ahead and clip these wires right now i'm going to clip them about there, yeah. There we go. The new wire, I feel bad about doing it this way, but I, this is going to be a lot faster and easier than trying to figure out how to do the other ones. Clip those wires, strip them, do those at twice. Oh, yeah, good. Able to get those at once. <laughs> Let's see if I can strip all three of these at the same time. Oh, yeah. Nice.
So now that that's in position, I got two ways I can do it. I can do it with a soldering iron or I can do it with a match. I'm going to use a match because it's more fun. This is what they call a permanent match. It uses lighter fluid. has a flint down the side of it. It does a great job. Re-soak it a little bit. Change the position of these wires of hair. Perfect. And as you can see, it still didn't burn the wick. <laughs> oh, I love using those things. Okay, so now we have our harness reconnected. I can go ahead and run that back up through the hole here. Once again, I will take and uh, get everything fished through the way it's supposed to be. I want this to be secured if I can. That should hold it just fine, especially if I bring it up here and connect it into this one. If I had a hot glue gun out of here, I'd be tempted to add hot glue to it. What I do have is some electrical tape and th add a little bit of electrical tape just to make sure that there's nothing wiggling around down here. I think it'll be just fine. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and button up the bottom of it here and we'll move up to the top and get that connected. All I want to do at this moment in time is I want to get it where I can see if it'll home. So let me just kind of get everything kind of moved to a point where I know the wires will be safe. That will work. Let me turn this around so you can see it. I'm going to plug it in and let's see how it works. Okay guys, so here's what I just found. So whenever I compared the old wiring harness, I had it up there. If I look back up here, I see blue, red, green, black. Forgive me if the colors are wrong, but that's, you know, I'm colorblind, but that's pretty much what I'm seeing. At this end of it, the part that attaches to the stepper motor, like that, I see blue, I see red, on this one it's green. Then I see green, that's the red, and then black. They've swapped out the two center ones. So let me figure out how to get those swapped out. There's got to be a way of doing it without having to cut wires and solder them. So let me figure it out here in just a moment. I'll be right back with you. Okay, let's see if I can get it now. I think this plastic piece raises up. Yes! Okay. Wow. It took me forever to figure out how to get that raised up. <laughs> I thought I had to poke down. It turns out you raise up the plastic piece and not poke down on the metal piece on the inside. Okay. Let's get that transferred over. There we go. Just swapping the position here. goes like that. There it goes. Locked into position. <sighs> Let's hope. Oh, yes. It's 
still don't understand why it's got that kind of a bind to it and making kind of noises it's making. Could be the bearings need to be lubricated or something. Okay. I don't see that fan moving, but maybe it doesn't have to. Let's double check my wiring here, make sure that's in place. That's all in place. Toss this on the floor. Oh my goodness. Put that back in place. Is that the right way? Yep, that's the right way. There, now we can button it up. I hope. Okay, one more screw, and then I will turn it back over and we'll give it a shot and make sure everything's homing correctly. So, if you ever do change this out, just double check your wiring harness and make sure that the wires are in the correct order. I've got my rubber piece all messed up, but that's all right. I want to see if this works now. So I'm going to bring that out of position. Let's bring this out of position. That's still, I don't understand how come that's so tough. <laughs> okay, fire it up. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's working. And it homed. Sweet. Okay, guys, <laughs> next thing I got to do is got to figure out the wiring on this part of it, but that is going to be something I'm just going to do on my own, on my own time, and I'll get it all figured out, and I'll share with you later on how I do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too, that way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care.